Hey there, YouTube. Scott Stevens here. How are you doing this evening? Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode 66 of Universe. Tonight we have WCW's Thursday Thunder coming at you. And another spectacular card as usual. Tonight's is a little better than normal because we have to come up with opponents for Yokozuna and Rey Mysterio. Hey there, Godspeed. Thanks for joining, man. Hope you're doing well tonight. I'm feeling a little better. My throat is still kind of sore. My voice is still cracking from time to time. So, it is what it is. It's better than it was yesterday, yes. <clears throat> like I said, improvement, improvement. That's all I want to see is improvement. Not too bad, not too bad. Can't complain. Can't complain. Glad to hear you're doing all right. We got uh, good stuff coming for you tonight as we choose... We don't, well, yeah, we find out who is going to go up against Yokozuna and Rey Mysterio at Super Brawl, which is going to be Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Tomorrow's live stream will be at 1 o'clock as well. That will be Saturday night's main event, and Wednesday's stream will also be at 1 o'clock. That will be Super Brawl, 1 o'clock. All right, so let's see. We are in Thunder. Nothing nothing really to tell you about other than that. Let's take a look at the card. Tonight's preview is brought to you by the WWE Shop. Use the link in the description below to get to the WWE Shop and get your favorite WWE apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia. They have different sales going on every single day on the channel, so make sure you use this link here to get there and take advantage of whatever deals they have going on, whatever day. WWE, the WWE shop. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey Siri, who do the devils play tomorrow? The Devils meet the Penguins tomorrow at 7 p.m. The Penguins. They play the Penguins. I don't, I, I'm not paying attention to who we're playing at this point because it doesn't matter. We have to win. Uh, that's all there is to it. So um, I, I'm not, I haven't even been paying attention to who they're playing. Devils tomorrow, or Penguins tomorrow, and somebody else on Wednesday. We got back to back games. And these two games very well could be the end of the season for us. All right, so taking a look at tonight's Thunder action, we got Eddie Guerrero squaring off against Bad Bob Cook to start things off. Owen Hart battles the masked superstar. Of course, Owen has a big match Wednesday at Super Brawl against Brett. The voice Justin Michaels will battle Brock Lesnar. The Big Show is going to take on Yokozuna. He is your... Which one, which champion is Yokozuna? I think he's a WCW champion. No, he's not. He's the United States champion. Either way, it's a non-title match tonight. And he'll be going up against Big Show. Here's a triple threat match to see who will face Yokozuna for the title at Super Brawl. Hollywood Hogan, Ric Flair, and Harley Race. That's a pretty solid triple threat match right there. Jerry the King Lawler will take on Bob Roop. Mr. Wrestling 2 battles Goldberg. And in the main event, it's a fatal four-way. Dusty Rhodes, Lex Luger, Dory Funk Jr., and Young Sting battle it out to see who will take on Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship on Wednesday at Super Brawl. So, triple threat match and... Four, fatal four-way. I just want to see... I don't... Uh, I think Yokozuna is the United States champion. 
Why isn't it showing his belt? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yep, Mill Mascus is the WCW title. United States champion is Yokozuna. Yep. Oh, I still have this cough. And my voice going in and out. Yeah, that's what I thought, Godspeed. Yep. It's a cough, man. It's better, but it's still not gone. All right, let's start the show, and then we will start the action. Yeah, so we got a fatal four-way and a triple threat match. Same card. And then tomorrow's Saturday night main event live stream is at 1 o'clock. And then Wednesday's stream, 1 o'clock, Super Brawl. That should be pretty cool. I have to check that arena, make sure everything is still intact. I haven't played on that one in quite a long time. Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this. We're event. live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything hey, here in WWE. Backstage, Corey has been growing with every minute. Thanks for joining. Did you get my did you get my text about your glasses? All right, first match: Eddie Guerrero taking on Bad Bob Cook. Godspeed says Eddie. Bonnie says Eddie. I'm gonna go with Bad Bob Cook. I can't can't go against the man. But Eddie Guerrero is the favorite coming in. Minneapolis, Minnesota. What is the arena in Minneapolis, Minnesota? Where did the Wild play? I think it's the XL Center. So that's where we are. Sold out crowd. So we're going to be doing the same thing tonight. I'll be cutting in and out as my voice does and the coughing fits come. Here comes Eddie, because the Devils are playing tomorrow, Bonnie. You know that. The, cocky the Devils are playing at 7. I stream at 1, and I have plenty of time to do both. In WCW. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Eddie Guerrero. The former WCW cruiserweight and United States Very solid WCW card here tonight. Um, Thunder, eventually, I want to have nothing but WCW NWA guys here. Going to have a mixture of like the WWF is going to be WWF former guys and the WCW will just be everybody else WCW NWA AWA ECW whoever else a lot of guys to shift around still inside the ring he may be a cruiserweight but he can take on anyone yeah, the Devils are going to lose to the Penguins tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, so we got to watch that. I don't know who we're playing on Wednesday. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We need to beat everybody. There's the cooker. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 262 pounds. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills. This is why I do what I do. The uh, Twister Town pilot script was finished off today. The word quit. He is ready so the battle. pilot has been written. We sent the script out to all of the cast members who are going to appear in the pilot. Waiting to uh, for some feedback from them. Nothing's going to change, but just letting them read it and get familiar with it. And then uh, Friday night, the uh, co-writer 
and I are getting together and we're going to map out the rest of what season one is supposed to be or what we want it to be and then uh, we give it over to the production company and they start pitching it so things are moving along nicely hopefully in three weeks it'll be um, the project will be completed and it will be being pitched hopefully in five weeks it'll be picked up but we all know how that goes in three weeks it will be being pitched that's for sure what happens after that nobody knows frog splash off the top rope Eddie Guerrero crushes Bob Cook right across the chest there and Cook said I've had about enough of that sir big knee to the midsection and there's those punches that the cooker is famous for solid left hands right to the face and a fist drop to the forehead of Eddie Guerrero yeah, so the script was sent out to uh, all the people appearing in the pilot. Get some feedback from them, see if they like it or not. I don't see why they wouldn't like it, though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then we have to, they wanted us to do an eight episode first season, so we have to map out the rest of the seven episodes and what's going to happen where the season will end what the cliffhanger will be and then we present it all over so we're going to do that friday night maybe not all of it but at least figure out where we want to go friday night so. it's moving along nicely but i wasn't expecting that today so i didn't get the um tall and twisters apparel done i think i'm gonna go with red bubble that was my goal today to get that done, but I wasn't counting on the script getting finished this morning and having to deal with that all day. So I'll do the merchandise tomorrow. Bob Cook gets a two count on Eddie Guerrero. Bob in the driver's seat right now. Bob Cook, of course, is in the pilot. He's playing Richard Dick Moore, the hardware store owner, the owner of Moore's Hardware in Tallinn, Kansas. Everybody calls him Dick. Bob said he loves to play the part. <laughs> Sit down, power bomb, crucifix, power bomb, whatever you want to call it. The cooker's bleeding and in trouble. Guerrero's going to go for the pin. He just may have him, but it took a long time. And it gave Cook enough time to kick out. Yeah, it should have been seven. The referee took forever. Guerrero took forever. Eddie's got Cooker up again. There's a jackknife powerbomb. Guerrero heads up to the top turnbuckle. Frog splash. Nails him. That's going to do it. He's got the leg hook, but it doesn't matter. Eddie Guerrero with a three count on bad Bob Cook. Solid match, good match indeed. The product of hard work and in-ring adaptability. He's got all the tools, and he put them to use tonight. He certainly did. Two frog splashes off the top rope was all Bob Cook could handle. Three stars is your official match rating. Eddie Guerrero with the three count over Bob Cook. Bonnie's pleased with that. Bonnie, did you get my text about your glasses? Next up, we got Owen Hart taking on the Masked Superstar. Owen Hart, of course, has a big two out of three falls match coming up at Super Brawl against his brother, Brett, for entrance to the World Wrestling Federation. That's what's on the line there. Here we got the Masked Superstar. That's who I'm going to pick. Mamacita. Okay. Godspeed says Owen Hart's going to win. I don't know who Bonnie's picking. I'm going to go with the mass superstar. I think he's just too big for Owen. Bonnie says the mass superstar. So the superstar is the slight favorite coming in. 
There's Owen Hart. Lost the other night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 226 pounds. Owen Hart. So Owen will be facing off against... A too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little Brett. fun. Heck. At Super Brawl, two out of three falls. If Owen wins, he goes to the World Wrestling Federation, who declined his application. However, if he loses, he moves to the very bottom of the WCW standings. I'm more apt to say if he loses, he retires. It's a retirement match for him. A competitor who always has his oh, I, just, I never really was a big Owen Hart fan. If he try, if he wrestles for application and acceptance into the World Wrestling Federation, maybe WCW doesn't want him back if he loses. I think that's a very distinct possibility. I'm gonna have to talk to Eric Bischoff about that. There's the mass superstar. And his opponent from parts unknown, weighing in at 344 pounds, the Masked Man. The mask superstar. He's coming out here looking to do some damage. And it's Owen Hart. He's planning on doing the damage too. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. Well, I don't think he's going to go out. I don't know. He may get good opposition from Owen Hart. Owen lost his last match. He certainly doesn't want to go into Super Brawl on a two-match losing streak. Because that will really damage his confidence. So he really needs a good performance here. But the Masked Superstar is a very tough opponent. We are live sellout crowd here at the Excel Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Owen Hart starts things off with a knife edge chop. Tries to get inside and the superstar will not let it happen. Off the ropes, clothesline by the masked man, Owen's down. Big right hand right in the middle of the ear. Superstar heading up to the top rope. Diving elbow across the chest. Crashes down on the lung cavity of Owen Hart. He goes for the cover. Only a two count. Superstar can't believe it. He should. He's only done a couple of moves. Now he's up on the second rope. Diving leg drop right across the throat. Owen is not off to a very good start. That's for sure. And the mass Superstar has got his fingers in the eye sockets. The nostrils. The mouth. Trying to rip Owen's face apart. And Owen Hart grabbed an ankle and got his way out of there. Head butt, and now it's the superstar down. Knee to the face there by Owen. Jaw breaker reversal by the mass superstar. Owen ducks out of the way of the clothesline. German suplex. Owen's going to go for the cover now. I don't think he's going to get him. One count only. He can't believe it. You should, though. Still early in the match. Diving, not a diving elbow. Jumping elbow drop to the chest. Owen oh, Hart, running bulldog. Masked superstar face first into the mat. Running snapmare. Owen oh, Hart starting to take control. Not anymore. Look at that. Nice crucifix done by the masked superstar, and he is back in control. Went for the double axe handle to the face. Owen ducked. Gave him a knife edge chop. Nice move there by Owen. Overhand chop to the top of the head. Times two. Knife edge chop. Times two. Spinning forearm right to the face. And the masked superstar has been cut. He is bleeding. Owen Hart is taking control of this match, but nice reversal there by the masked man. 
And Owens back in the mat. Superstar looking for the surfboard. He's got it locked in. Owen Hart is in a lot of trouble. He's in the middle of the ring. He cannot reach the ropes. He escaped nicely. But it hurts. Even if you have that hold on you for a couple of a couple of seconds, it still hurts. Eric Arana by Owen Hart. Good back and forth action here. Overhand chop, knife edge chop, times three. That one echoed off the walls of the XL Center here. Mass Superstar misses with a chop. Owen Hart with several more of his own. And another rolling elbow right on that open wound of the Mass Superstar. You can't really see it much because he's wearing the mask. Owen Hart, nice scissor kick, drops the masked man. Owen's going for the win. Two count. Just in time, he kicked out. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Owen Hart was going for something, and the superstar saw it coming. Nice gut wrench suplex. And the superstar is going to go for the pin. Owen kicks out at two. He won't. He's a heart. Superstar. Irish whips Owen Hart into the corner. Follows him in there. Big forearm to the face. Owen's down once again. Superstar putting big boots in the middle of Owen's chest. Owen gets a boot of his own up. That stops the assault momentarily. Superstar tossed Hart into the corner. Owen follows him in there. Solid right hand right to the jaw. And the superstar is down. Owens choking him out. Knee to the throat right now. Using both the second and top ropes for extra leverage. Referee does nothing about it. Leg sweep by the superstar. Gets Owen off of him for the, mi the moment. Uh-oh, he's locking it in. He's got the Cobra Clutch locked in. The mass superstar. And Owens foot at the rope. And the referee forced him to break the hold. But the mass superstar swung him around a couple times. It might have done, it might have done some damage. He's going to go for the pinfall. The leg is hooked, and he got the three count. The mass superstar uses the cobra clutch for a brief amount of time, and he gets the three counts on Owen Hart. Here is your winner, the masked man, superstar. The masked superstar with a victory over Owen Hart. Hart now goes into that big match at Super Brawl with his brother Brett on a two-match losing streak. That has got to shatter his confidence coming in. The masked superstar doesn't care. He's victorious here tonight on Thunder in front of a sold-out crowd here at the XL Center in Minneapolis. It was indeed a good match. Three and a half stars is your official match rating. The masked superstar pretty proud of himself. All right, coming up next, another intriguing matchup. We have the voice, Justin Michaels, in the house, squaring off against Brock Lesnar here on Thunder. <laughs> I talked to Justin today. <laughs> I, 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 he's he's going to get killed by Brock Lesnar, so you got you got to pick Brock in this one. Godspeed chooses Brock to get the victory, too. What do you guys think? Let me know. Talked to Justin for a little while today. He's in the pilot. He plays uh, Hal Morgan, the chief meteorologist in the, uh, the Twister Town movie slash TV series where he's going to play. And tonight he's going to get crushed by Brock Lesnar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 228 pounds, the voice, Justin Michaels. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. I can't remember who Justin uh, took on last match but I think he won I think it was an upset I can't remember who it was so he hasn't been featured a lot here in WCW but he's been successful the times that he has but he's definitely going to have his work cut out for him here tonight going up against Brock Lesnar
fans have absolutely no reaction. Now they do. <laughs> now they're booing him. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. Well, he's going to have to do a lot of work to prove that tonight. Going up against the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history. And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. The Beast! The Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City. Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's going to take a trip. To Suplex City. Yeah. And he likes to listen to women pee. It's a little weird. For a fight. Maybe that's what Justin should do. Maybe he should send him a recording of him pissing. Brock might get distracted. And Justin might have a shot at victory. That's the only way I see him getting a win over Brock Lesnar here today. <laughs> Justin's outside looking up in the ring right now going uh, I think I hear my phone ringing <laughs> Brock Lesnar and the voice Justin Michaels underway here on Thunder Big choke slam there by Lesnar. And the voice is not off to a very good start as Brock tosses him across the ring by his head. Lesnar's trying to be compassionate going for the early pin. Michaels kicked out. Look at that small package suplex right on the neck. That is a devastating suplex. Michaels has his... Face pounded into the top turnbuckle. That was a big punch by Lesnar. Nice toss suplex across the ring. And Brock is just playing with the voice. Dead lifting Michaels. Brock Lesnar running power slam. I think he tried to put Justin through the mat. Nice reversal there by the voice. Running knee drop, knee lift there. Moonsault, springboard moonsault off the second rope. And look at Justin. Getting a little cocky there. Two, three moves. And a big knee to the face. And Lesnar is down. And there's a spear. Brock had enough. One spear. Michaels is down. Lesnar thinks he has him. It's a two count. Justin kicked out. Nice reversal by the voice. Boot to the midsection. Right hand, left kick. Went for the midsection again. Lesnar blocked it. Bump handle suplex there by Lesnar. The beast destroying the voice right now. Lesnar drops Justin's voice right on the top rope. That'll affect the voice. Solid left hands. Brock Lesnar just flailing away. And Justin just covering up. Hoping it'll be over soon. Lesnar tosses him by his head again across the ring. German suplex. One. Here comes another one. I think a third one is coming. Poor Justin is getting dismantled in the ring. Lesnar's going to go for the cover. The leg is hooked. I don't think he needs it. And Justin gets a shoulder up just before the count of three. 
Lesnar giving the referee lessons on how to count the three a little bit quicker. Brock lining him up. Justin gets to his feet. Uh-oh. You know what's coming. Sorry, Justin. F5, and that's going to do her. Brock Lesnar gets the three count over the voice. Justin Michaels here, Thunder. That was a very decisive match. The voice was a jobber tonight, making Brock look good. It pretty much was. Brock Lesnar with the three count on the voice. Justin Michaels, two and a half stars is your official match rating. It was a good match if you're Brock Lesnar. Not so much if you're Justin Michaels. So Justin's brief winning streak comes to an end. Fourth match of the evening. <laughs> yeah, for 500 bucks, yeah. <laughs> the fourth match of the evening, your WCW United States champion, the new champion, Yokozuna. He's got a non-title match here tonight against the Big Show. Yokozuna will be facing the winner of the triple threat match later on here tonight. That match will take place at Super Brawl. If the Big Show can get a win here, tonight he'll get himself right in line for a title shot after Super Brawl. But uh, Godspeed's picking Yokozuna to get the win. I am as well. Let me know who you guys think is going to get the win. I think it's Yokozuna all the way. He is your WCW United States champion. Let's send it down to ringside and get your introductions. The Big Show. To stack, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them. Yeah, Justin got his 500 bucks. <laughs> he got his payday. That was about as one-sided a match as uh, we've seen him involved in. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. I don't think it's going to intensify once Yokozuna comes out here. The fans here in Minnesota love Yokozuna. Title is not on the line here tonight. The largest competitor in the history of WWE. And his opponent from the land of the rising sun. Weighing in at 558 pounds. The WCW United States Champion, Yokozuna. What makes Yokozuna so scary is his ability to use his massive frame or surprising agility to earn the win in any situation. 558 pounds. Victories over all-time greats like Bret the Hitman Hart, the immortal Hulk Hogan, and The Undertaker. The Big Show's not really worried about that, though. He's a big man himself. He can deal with that type of weight. He doesn't want to. But he can. just buckled. Well, unfortunately for his opponent, all of Yokozuna's weight and power is about to be focused on them. 
Big Show's got plenty of power himself. Title is not on the line here tonight. But a shot at it is. If Big Show can get a win, he will be in line for a title shot once Super Brawl Guys, is finished. Not very often will you see the Big Show not able to get inside on somebody. And Yokozuna puts that claw hold on, but the Big Show had a foot under the rope, and the referee forced him to break the hold. That was a sharp elbow right to the middle of the gut. Absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Big headbutt to the top turnbuckle there, followed by a knife edge chop. Yokozuna really going to work. Toss slam on the big show. Yoko's gonna go for the cover. One count only, Big Show kicks out. Still early in the matchup, like the man said. Soon as got the Big Show up. Couple of elbows there from the Big Show. And Yoko's gotta drop him. But the Big Show still can't get inside. Yoko up on the second rope. Wow, he super flying him from the second rope. 558 pounds. Plus with gravity, follows it up with a monster elbow, and now he's going to choke him out right in front of the referee. Ref is looking right at him, doesn't care. Just tilts his head a little bit. Yokozuna now with a knee in the small of the back of the big show, fingers locked under the chin, bending the big man in half backwards. And there's the big show looking for an ankle, and he got it. Old Yokozuna off. There it is, sweet chin music, super kick from Yokozuna. Wow, the Big Show not done very well here tonight. Yokozuna nails him with some sweet chin music. He's going to go for the pinfall. Shoulders are down, leg is hooked, and that's a two count. Big Show kicks out. Yokozuna pissed off at the referee, telling him to count faster. Shoulder blocked there by Yoko. Went for the elbow again to the chest. This time, Show got out of the way. Did not want to take that again. There's a punch to the throat. That slows the big man down. Overhand right. Yo goes down to one knee, and now he's down on the mat. Big right hand. Drops the head. Look at the suplex. German suplex. And a clothesline. Head over heels goes the champion. Big Show goes for the cover, and it's a two count. Yokozuna kicks out, head over heels is all he went after taking taking that lariat there from the Big Show. Yoko's reaching for the ankle and he pulls it away. Escapes the hold, but the Big Show had it out for a while. Now Yoko's got him up, walks him to the corner. Snake eyes on the top rope, and the Big Show's been busted open on the top of that turnbuckle. Yoko has him up, scoop slam. Locking that claw hold into the trapezius area. Blood pouring down the right side of the Big Show's face. He escapes the claw hold. Nice leg sweep. And now he's got an arm ringer and he ate an elbow from the champion. Nice reversal there by Yokozuna. Tossing the big, the big show across the ring by his head. Uh-oh, here it comes. Bonsai drop right across the chest, crushing the chest cavity. He sits there for a pinfall and he gets it. Yokozuna with a three count on the big show. Your WCW United States Champion, Yokozuna. Bonsai drops his way to victory over the Big Show. It was a good match, Cosby. It was indeed. The Big Show held tough, but he's not going to get a shot at the title after Super Brawl. Yokozuna will head backstage. He'll watch the monitors to find out who his opponent will be. 
when we get to Super Brawl on Wednesday. Three stars is your official match rating. Yokozuna Bonsai drops his way to victory over the Big Show. The Big Show really wasn't in a position to win that match. He didn't do bad, but we have certainly seen him do better. That brings us to the halfway point of the evening intermission. Let's take a look at how we got here. Eddie Guerrero, victorious over Bob Cook to start things off. The Masked Superstar got a good victory over Owen Hart. Owen has now lost two in a row. Heading into Super Brawl. Brock Lesnar destroyed Justin Michaels. And as you just saw, Yoko Zuna victorious over the big show in a non-title match. Tonight's second half of action, we got a triple threat match to start things off. Hollywood Hogan, Harley Race, and Ric Flair. The winner gets Yokozuna for that U.S. title at Super Brawl. Then we got Jerry the King Lawler squaring off against Bob Roop. Goldberg is in the house. He'll take on Mr. Wrestling 2. And tonight's main event is a fatal four-way. Dory Funk Jr., Dusty Rhodes, Lex Luger, and Young Sting. The winner gets a shot at Rey Mysterio's World Heavyweight Championship at Super Brawl on Wednesday. Tonight's second half of action is brought to you by Fanatics. Officially licensed everything. Use the link in the description below to get to Fanatics.com for all of your favorite NCAA NHL, MLB, and NFL apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia. Fanatics.com. They have specials going on every single day on their website, so be sure to use the link in the description below to get there and take advantage of one of the great daily offers. All right, next up, we got the big triple threat match. This one should be good. Winner gets Yokozuna. And a shot at the U.S. title at Super Brawl on Wednesday. Godspeed says Hogan's going to get the win. Uh, I'm going to go along with that. I'm going to go along with that pick. So Hogan's my pick to win as well. So what do you guys think? Let me know who you think is going to get the win here. The winner gets Yokozuna at Super Brawl Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock for the WCW United States Championship. Should be a good match here tonight. Ric Flair. Harley Race and Hollywood Hogan, two NWA slash WCW icons and a liar. Let's send it down to ringside <laughs> and get your introductions. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring. From Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 284 pounds, Harley, Harley. Race. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He's here, Nate, and his opponents first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Corey, can you imagine hanging out with Flair? Flair and his fake hair. Absolutely, I've imagined it. That's probably all I'll ever get to do. A lifestyle I can only dream of. That's what it's like when you're running with the four horsemen. Well, he's out here by himself here tonight. Going up against Harley Race and Hollywood Hogan. Fans booing him quite heavily here in Minnesota. Why 
what a triple threat match this is going to be. Harley Race, Ric Flair, and Hollywood Hogan. Live on Thunder. Hogan's gone Hollywood and turned his back on all his Hulkamaniacs. Saxton, have you seen Hulk's bank account? It was brilliant. Mm. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. This man changed sports entertainment history on July 7th, 1996. Oh, that night broke my heart. Hulk Hogan turned his back on WCW, his Hulkamaniacs, and all of his allies to form the New World Order. Yep, that saved WCW. Kept them going for quite a while. No longer about saying your prayers and taking your vitamins, Byron. I guess if you ask Hollywood Hogan, the reality is that those will only take you so far. Now Hogan feels like he needs to bend the rules to get ahead. No, 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 no. Hogan is simply no longer bound by the rules, Saxton. Hulk Hogan cannot Harley Race, Ric Flair, and Hollywood Hogan. The winner gets Yokozuna at Super Brawl. We are underway. A suplex there by Hollywood. Ric Flair talking to the fans at ringside. Hogan with a pendulum. Back breaker stretch on Harley Race. Back well, breaker again, the, this time on Ric Flair. Solid right hand by Harley Race. Hogan with a right hand of his own. He's got Race up. Big power slam, snap slam there. Flair came up behind him, dropped him for a suplex. Nicely done. Big Andre the Giant elbow right across the chest cavity. Ric Flair now choking out Hollywood Hogan, referee not paying any attention. Hogan's in trouble, he's out on the floor. Harley Race brings Flair over to the top rope, drops his throat right across it. Harley Race with the claw hold. Referee's right there in case Ric Flair wants to quit, but he didn't. Hogan with a big knife edge chop on Flair. Hogan goes for the cover after dropping Flair on the top rope. Only a one count. Flair rolls out of the ring. He's out on the floor. Here at the XL Center. Hogan with a boot to the midsection on Harley Race. Overhand right drops. Harley to the canvas. Hogan climbing up to the top rope. Superfly and Harley Race. Saw him coming and got the knees up. Punch to the throat. Harley Race as Hogan stunned. Headlock and a punch just above the eye. Hogan's down. Flair goes to work on Harley Race. Big chop to the throat there by Race on Ric Flair. Hogan tosses Race over the rope out onto the floor. Ric Flair drops Hogan and stretches that hammy out. Flair has a submission hold. Ric Flair pile driver. On Harley Race. Hogan's down. Race is down. All the way up. Step up. Look at Flair. Squatting, too, my gosh. Squatting Harley Race. High above his head. Turns it into a vertical suplex. Nicely done. Flair's 
Looking for the figure four on Hollywood Hogan. He's got it locked in the middle of the ring. Harley races outside of the floor. He can't break it up. Hollywood Hogan is in a lot of trouble. Look at the pain on his face. Flair cinching it in hard. Referee's right there. Hogan hasn't given up yet. Flair gave up on it. And Hogan reversed it. Harley Race just getting to his feet outside the ring. Choke slam by Hollywood. Harley Race back in the ring finally. Ric Flair begging for someone not to kick his ass when nobody was paying attention to him. Harley Race is down thanks to Hollywood Hogan. Big knife edge shot there by Ric Flair. Hogan gives him one of his own. Head butt by Hollywood. Harley Race comes up on Hogan now. Big forearm to the face. Hogan won't go down. He turns it around. Scooped up and down. Scoop slam by Hogan on Harley Race. Nicely done. Chop. Body blow. Lining him up. Another headbutt there by Hollywood. Harley Race is out on the floor of the XL Center now. Hogan throws Flair over the top rope out onto the floor. He follows him out there, and Harley Race was waiting for him. Oh, suplex him right onto the floor. You see the match there on Thunder. Maybe a half inch. Oh, Flair slams Hollywood's head into the ring post. Power slam by Harley Race on Ric Flair. Race choking Ric Flair. Hard. Referee up in the ring. Not paying any mind. Oh, Ric Flair slams Harley Race's head into the ring apron. Hogan slams Flair's head into the ring. Went to the uh, steel stairs. Now Harley Race eats the ring post. Courtesy of Hollywood Hogan. <coughs> Swinging neck breaker by Ric Flair on Hollywood. Harley races back inside the ring. Ric Flair tosses Hogan back in. And then, uh, I, don't, I don't know what he did. That strut fall down thing, but you kind of got to get hit to make it look good. Hogan goes for the cover on Harley Race, and Ric Flair broke it up immediately. That Ric Flair strut falling on his face, whatever you call that. It's a nice touch to have in the game, but it, it only works if somebody does something to him. Double DDT on Hollywood Hogan. Solid right hand by Harley Race on Ric Flair, three in a row. Flair is down, the Nature Boy has his knee slammed into the mat. And he's in trouble, and he's heading out to the floor. Race has Hollywood up. He's got a jack knife power bomb over the top rope out onto the floor of the XL Center. Sellout crowd here in Minnesota. What a fantastic triple threat match we have here. Winner gets Yokozuna at Super Brawl. Hogan, running knee lift, and Harley races down. Race went for the knife edge chop to the throat and he missed. Setting foot in the ring now. Flair. Flair's gonna go for the figure four on Harley Race now. Race is right on the ropes. He can reach the rope easily. Or he can put his hand under it like he did, and the referee will force Flair to break the hole. Flair's gonna go for the pin. Hogan makes the save. Ric Flair has Hollywood Hogan. Beautifully executed pile driver. And, here comes Nate. and now Nature's going to put the figure four on the holster. Hollywood Hogan has it locked in. He's under the rope, though. Referee's not looking, but he forced him to break the hold anyway. Flair strutting. And 
He got attacked by Harley Race from behind. Hollywood's down. I'm not really sure. Harley Race goes for the pinfall drag. Ric Flair away from the ropes. And it's a two count. Flair kicked out. Triple threat match here. Winner gets Yokozuna at Super Brawl. Double DDT. Hollywood and Flair on Harley Race, and he's hurt. Flair's out on the floor. Hogan. Oh, look at Flair. Slip behind him. DDT, and Hogan's been busted open. Now Hogan with a cheap shot. Punch to the throat on Ric Flair. Head headlock. Another one. And now that one caught him in the forehead. Now Ric Flair's been busted open. Hogan should be going for a cover off the ropes. Here comes the leg drop. He's going to go for the cover, but here comes Harley Race. He waited too long. And only a one count. Harley Race stopped the attempt. Hogan off the ropes. Leg drop on Harley Race. Now he can pin either man. Hollywood Hogan has the leg hook on Harley Race. And he gets the pinfall. Hollywood could have pinned either guy there. He chose Harley Race and got the win, and he will face Yokozuna for the U.S. title at Super Brawl. Hollywood Hogan! Impressively withstanding the onslaught of the two other Pretty solid triple threat match there. Hollywood Hogan, he could have pinned Blake, Ric Flair or Harley Race. And Hollywood Hogan gets the three count on Harley Race. And he will take on Yokozuna at Super Brawl on Wednesday at 1 o'clock for the United States Championship. Three and a half stars is your official match rating. Hollywood Hogan with the win in the triple threat match. That was a pretty good match. All right, I'm starting to lose my voice here. Next match of the evening, we got Jerry the King Lawler taking on Mr. Bob Roop. I'm going to go with the King to get the victory here tonight. What do you guys think? That was a good match, that Hollywood Hogan match. Put three legends in the ring. That will happen. Jerry the King Lawler, that's my pick for victory here against Bob Roop. Let me know who you guys think. Is going to come out on top of this one. Godspeed says Bob Roop is going to get the win. So we got a pick em match coming in. Let's send it down to ringside and get your introductions. Should be very interesting to see how this one plays out. We don't see Jerry Lawler very often. Here comes the king. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Can you believe that Jerry Lawler has been competing in the ring for over 50 years? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. The King has been a master in the ring and at the commentary table. And even after all those years, King still has tricks up his sleeve and under his crown. Maybe you can borrow his crown to cover that bald spot. What are you talking about, Corey? <laughs> 50 years in the ring and the King still has better hair than you. That's debatable. Dozens of championships won in Memphis before he joined WWE. He is certainly one of the all-time greats. Hey, King. The flying fist drop. It was actually an honor of mine, Corey, to be able to have uh, been hit in the mouth by the flying fist drop at one point in my career. Well, the king looks ready to deliver a royal beating. Maybe to you again, Michael. Or maybe to Cole, but the king won't let you near his crown, Saxton. Oh, man. And here he comes. He'll have a tough opponent here tonight. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 291 pounds. Bob Rude. 
Michigan. I think I said he's from Minnesota the other night. There's a reason they're not well liked. I always say that for some reason. This is pro wrestling, Saxton, not pro friendship, not pro fandom. He always corrects me quickly. <laughs> I don't know why I want him to be from Minnesota. Battle Creek, Michigan. Don't forget, we got the Fatal 4-Way coming up in just a little bit. The winner gets Rey Mysterio and a shot at his World Heavyweight Championship at Super Brawl Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. But first, we got to settle a score to settle here between Jerry the King Lawler and Bob Roop. There's the bell. We are underway here at the XL Center. Live on Thunder. Sellout crowd. A lot of good matches so far here tonight. Overhand right by the King. And Roop throws an elbow up. And King tosses Roop hard into that corner. Follows it up with an elbow to the throat. And what's Jerry doing? Nice running bulldog off the ropes. Knows how to play dirty and doesn't have a problem. Drops a knee right on the elbow. And Bob Roop gets a boot up. It only stopped Jerry momentarily. Good. Big sequence of moves. Couple overhand rights. There's one to the throat. Lawler again off the ropes. Running Bulldog second time. Roop's taking that one. King's going to try and turn this one into a win. And it's a two count. Roop kicked out. Lawler looked like he was going for the camel clutch there, and Bob Roof didn't want anything to do with it. Nice neck breaker on the King. Solid right hand, hip toss by the King. Nice reversal. Bob Roof tosses the King over the top rope, out onto the floor. Roop standing on the top turnbuckle. What does he have in mind? Diving shoulder tackle from the top rope out onto the floor. Takes out Jerry Lawler. Several right hands to the head. Does even more damage. And Bob Roop is in control right now. Boot to the midsection. Oh, he was going to do a DDT. Out on that floor and the King knew it. Luthez pressed him. Several right hands to the face, and Bob Roof is down. Hard into the steel stairs. Jerry Lawler's done that once or twice over his career. Arm ringer takedown by Bob Roof. Nice reversal. Lawler back in the ring at the count of six. Roop was waiting for him. Nope, he's looking for a surfboard. And a face plant. King's face hard down into that mat. Roop's turning him over, trying for the pinfall. Jerry Lawler kicks out at two. Two plus, Roop can't believe it. Uh-oh, end of Lawler. Bob Roop with end of days on the king and he's got the leg hooked in. Wow, somehow Lawler kicked out. The king took end of days and kicked out. But now Bob Roop has the camel clutch locked in perfectly. And the king is in a lot of trouble. He cannot get out. He cannot reach the rope. Referee's right there. Roop lets it go, but if he goes for a pinfall, he just may get the King here. King has taken a lot of damage over the last couple of minutes. Head slam into the mat right now. Bob Roop, what? Well, he went one too many times. King blocks it. DDT. Roop could have had a pinfall maybe if he tried. And King gets his second wind. 
Slams his head down in the mat once again. Lawler climbing up to the top rope. Changed his mind. And Bob Roop then presses him one more time. Solid right hands to the head. Lawler's down. Bob Roop climbing up to the top rope. Cross body block off the top rope. Hit the mark. Lawler took the full brunt of it. Reverse that stomp though. And Lawler gets up swinging. Belly to belly suplex on Bob Roop. Nice reversal there by Jerry Lawler. He's up on the top rope now. Frog splash crushes Bob Roop. The King has the leg hook. No, only a one count. Roop kicked out quickly. Lawler's going up to the top rope once again. Roop still down. Diving knee to the throat. And the King isn't done. He's up on the top turnbuckle once again. Another diving knee to the throat. Bob Roof is in a world of trouble and the King is going up for a third time. This could be a big mistake. He could probably finish him off right now. He went for the flying fist off the top rope and Roof saw it coming. But look at the King. Nice headlock, hip toss. Nicely done. Nice reversal by Roop. Roop has a very strong technical wrestling background. And Jerry Lawler now several right hands. Left hands to the side of the head of Bob Roop. He's going to go for the pin. And Roop kicks out again. These are two tough characters. Bob Roop is tough. Lawler's giving him everything he's got. Standing drop kick. Another headlock takedown. Lawler really squeezing it. And once again, another reversal by Bob Roop. Roop is in trouble. He's just trying to stay alive now. Lawler on the top rope again. And once again, Lawler misses the flying fist drop off the top rope. Roop suplexes him. Bridge, pin combination. And Lawler gets out of it, just escaping before the count of three. Bob Roop loves that move. He waits for the perfect moment to do it, and that time it wasn't successful. Now he's got a surfboard face plant. On the mat, Lawler's face crashing. Roop again, end of day, second one he's got. Lawler got up from the first one, I don't know about this one. He does not. Bob Roop gets the victory. Hard fought victory over Jerry the King Lawler. That was a good match. Here is your winner, Bob Roop. I can't imagine a world in which Bob Roop gets the three count. He took several knees from the top rope. Bob Roop is one tough customer, I'll tell you that. Because he took everything Jerry the King Lawler has. And still came out on top. That was a very good match. Four stars is your official match rating. Bob Roop with a three count on Jerry the King Lawler. That was an impressive win. That was a fun match to watch. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty here. Tonight's seventh match of the evening. We got Goldberg going up against Mr. Wrestling 2 here in Minnesota. I'm going with Goldberg as my pick for victory. I think Wrestling 2 is going to give him a tough match, but I think Goldberg is going to be just a little too much for him. What do you guys think? Who do you think is going to get the win? Godspeed says Goldberg as well. Let's send it down to ringside. We'll walk with Goldberg to the ring, but I think we're going to see Mr. Wrestling 2 first. Nope. Let's take a walk with Goldberg. Godspeed says Goldberg is going to get the win. I agree. We're about to find 
He's the heavy favorite coming into this one. What do you guys think? Who do you think is going to get the win here? Bonnie says Goldberg is going to get the win as well. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Goldberg! Fear the spear. Come to mind. 173 consecutive wins. That's a lie. 12, a dozen years away from WWE. Return to win the Universal Championship twice. It's not that impressive when you realize it's, uh, you know, predetermined who's going to win. If it was real, it'd be impressive. Right. I love this guy. Goldberg is a heavy favorite in this match nonetheless, and he'll be going up against that man right there, Mr. Wrestling 2. Johnny Walker, a.k.a. Mr. Wrestling 2. Could change the entire landscape here. I used to love watching Mr. Wrestling 2 on TV when I was a kid. I really don't know why. Something about the mask, it was just plain with the white and the black. He's got a tough task ahead of him here tonight. He has to fear the spear. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Goldberg and Mr. Wrestling 2 here at the XL Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sellout crowd. This is one is underway. Position over the years by employing immeasurable intensity and devastating power. Goldberg annihilates whoever stands in his way. With Goldberg, it's a simple approach. It always comes down to who's next. Though his opponent will have something to say about that. He himself has garnered a lot of experience and knows in this business. You're either Goldberg Irish whips Mr. Wrestling too hard into the corner, follows him in there, the in the trying to separate the shoulder. Tossing him. Single arm suplex across the ring there. Solid right hands to the head. Oh, he's got him up high. Ball away slam. Goldberg really handing it to Mr. Wrestling 2 to start this match. Wow, that was almost over. Two and a half count there. Wrestling 2 kicked out just before the count of three. But it was not a quick kick out. He is taking a lot of damage from Goldberg here, and he is not offering too much resistance. Not to this point, anyway. There's a boot to the midsection. But he missed with the bunch, and Goldberg has him high up. Wow, gut buster. And Goldberg now pounding away solid right hands to the head. Wow, just flailing away. Mr. Wrestling 2 wishing he stayed in the locker room at this point. Throws an elbow. That gets Goldberg off of him for a minute. Nice suplex there by Wrestling 2. He's a little cocky for pulling off one move. I think that's his second move of the match. Wrestling 2 hops up to the top rope. Goldberg getting to his feet. Flying cross body block. Hit the mark. Goldberg took the brunt of it 100%. Nicely done by Wrestling 2. Solid right hand stuns Goldberg. Wrestling 2 starting to turn the tide. Nope, I spoke too soon. Big Goldberg elbow. Stop that. Uh-oh. Another fall away slam by Goldberg. Uh-oh. Goldberg's lining him up. Wrestling 2 doesn't know where he is. There it is. Spear time. Goldberg goes for the cover. And he got him. Wow. 
I knew Goldberg was going to win, but I thought Mr. Wrestling 2 might put up a bigger, better fight than he did. Hardly put up one at all. Here is your winner, Goldberg! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Goldberg with the three count on Mr. Wrestling 2. That was a good match, Godspeed. Very one-sided. That was a jobber match. Two stars is your official match rating. One star for each move Mr. Wrestling 2 pulled off in the match. He had two moves. After the second one, he got kind of cocky. Goldberg decided it was time to put him in his place. Speared him and pinned him. All right, next up, main event time here on Thunder. Fatal 4-Way, the winner, gets a shot at Rey Mysterio's World Heavyweight Championship. That will be at Super Brawl on Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. We got Dusty Rhodes, we got Dory Funk Jr., we got Lex Luger, and we got Sting. <laughs> he likes that funny. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dusty Rhodes as my pick to get the victory here. Should be a very solid match to entertain us for a little while. Fatal 4-Way here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the XL Center. Sellout crowd here on Thunder. Who do you guys think is going to get the win? The winner gets a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship at Super Brawl Wednesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. I'm going with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Guys, we said his dad picked Dusty Rhodes. Smart man. Smart pick. So Dusty is the heavy favorite coming in. Let me know who you guys think is going to get the victory. Let's send it down to ringside. This should be a good one. Godspeed says Stinger is going to get the win. Bonnie said nobody, but I don't understand how that works. There's the American Dream. Making his way to the ring from Austin, Texas. Weighing in at 317 pounds. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. He's going to get funky like a monkey. The son of a plumber. The American dream, Dusty Rhodes. He's going to get down to some serious business, daddy. This is going to be good. There's Dory Funk Jr. And his opponents first representing the family from Amarillo, Texas. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Doris Dory Funk Jr. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. We got four NWA legends in this fatal four-way. Looking for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship Wednesday afternoon at Super Brawl. Who do we got next? There he is, the total package, Lex Luger. this entrance i heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it huh uh that's what they're doing right now corey well good let's see what they've got then this is a guy did luger ever hold the nwa belt competition and i think he'll get it tonight 
I don't right. I don't remember. I don't remember if he ever held the NWA title. I know the other three have. Two-shoes and a liar. What a terrible person. <laughs> the competition level has never yep, been Sting high. was a one-time NWA champion. He did hold the title one time. So we have four former NWA champions in the ring here tonight. Looking to get in the ring Wednesday afternoon with Rey Mysterio. For the World Heavyweight Championship. The WWE Universe has been treated to some legendary moments courtesy of the Fatal 4-Way. Forget that ancient history, Michael. This Fatal 4-Way has all the makings to put those past matches to shame. Oh, no question this match has all the ingredients of a good one. Lex Luger working over the American Dream in the ring. Sting working over Dory Funk outside the ring. Super Brawl implications in this one. Look at Lex Luger flipping Dusty Rhodes around. Nice snap slam there by Luger. Dory Funk went for a knee on Sting outside the ring and he missed. His knee came down hard on the floor. Luger's going to go for the... Sorry, my voice keeps going out. Dusty Rhodes ripping Lex Luger's face apart. Who was the five-time NWA champion? Sting? Or Dusty? Speaking of Dusty, he just got busted open. Lex Luger dropping snake eyes on that top turnbuckle one. The American Dream has been busted open. Uh -huh. shake. Solid jabs. <laughs> oh, Lex Luger was five times, really? And he has free reign to the out. I knew he held it. I didn't know he held it that many times. And that could be all. Let's see. Dusty Rhodes going to go for the cover. Nobody's there to break it up. And it's a two count. Luger kicked out. Dory Funk came in to break it up. But Luger kicked out first. Rusty Rose heading to the top turnbuckle. Luger's down. Bionic elbow, diving elbow miss as Luger rolled out of the way. But Dusty continues to work over the total package. Boot to the midsection there. I believe you got speed. I just didn't think he won it that many times. I knew he was a champion at one point. Dusty telling the crowd to suck it. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Dusty with a Russian leg sweep on Dory Funk. Lex Luger with some elbows on Sting. Dusty Rhodes right hands. Solid right hands to Dory's head. And wow, Luger almost got a pinfall on Sting. Oh, he was a U.S. champion too. That's cool. Yeah, I knew that. I knew he was the United States champion, yeah. Dusty Rhodes still working over Dory Funk. Luger throwing some elbows on the stinger. Dusty pulling Dory away from the ropes. I think he's going to try for a pinfall. Nope, nice move by Dory Funk there. Nicely done by Dory. Luger with an elbow again on the stinger. Oh, 
decent leg sweep. This one is headed outside, guys. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh, I rake. That's not right, but effective. All four men outside the ring right now. Stinger, Stinger working over Dusty Rhodes. Luger just getting back to his feet. Sting just bitch slapped Corey Funk. Wow, a double DDT outside the ring. Okay, this is the last match. I'm really starting to lose my voice. Luger's got Dory Funk up on the torture rack. Referee's paying attention. Sting splashes Dusty Rhodes. Dusty's bleeding. Dory's in trouble. Did he, did he tap? No. Sting broke it up. Dusty Rhodes has been bloodied. Slamming Dory's face into the canvas. Sting, toss suplex on Lex Luger. Dory's out on the floor. Stinger working over Dusty. Luger's out on the floor now. Splash by Sting on the American Dream. Dusty may be in a little trouble. Sting's gonna try and get the victory. Nobody's there to stop him, but Dusty kicked out at one. Hammer locked by Sting. Look at the suplex. Nicely done by the Stinger. He's going off the ropes. Frog splash right on Dusty while Dory looks on. Oh, Dory walked. Sting walked right into a Dory Funk pile driver. Dusty's back up on his feet working on Luger. Russian leg sweep. Blood pouring down Dusty's face. He's going to go for the cover. Dusty Rhodes on Lex Luger. Dory Funk went over there to make the save. Bionic elbow drop across the chest. Only a one count on the pin. Dory Funk was right there. Luger's taking a lot of punishment over the last couple of minutes here. Sting looking for the Scorpion death lock on Dory Funk. But Dusty Rhodes is right there. Is he going to do something? Yes, he does. Yeah, I believe that. Luger's got Sting. Brings him over to the corner. Snake eyes on the top turnbuckle. Luger goes for the cover. Dusty said, suck it. You're not pinning him yet. Sting's out on the floor now. So is Dory Funk. Luger has Dusty. Walks him over to the other corner and drops his already bloody face across that top turnbuckle. And now he's got a knee in the small of the back. Trying to get Dusty to quit. Here comes Dory Funk to break it up. Good job, Dory. Look at Dory Funk clearing out the ring. Moonsault off the top turnbuckle. Dory Funk nailed Dusty Rhodes. Dory sends the stinger over the top rope out onto the apron. Dory's going for the cover. And Dusty kicked out at two. DDT on the stinger. And right now, Dory Funk, well, he was controlling the ring. Dusty Rhodes, several left jabs. And there's another one. Right hand to the face, and Dory Funk Jr. is down. All four men are in the ring, though. Dusty's going to go for the cover, but he decided against it. Smart move. Too many people there. He wasn't going to get it. And Dory turned him over. A couple of shots to the bloody face. Luger's going for the cover on Sting. Dusty. <laughs> Dusty's. Holding off Dory Funk and got a kick in to break up Luger's spin attempt on the Stinger. We got 
chaos in the ring. Dusty Rhodes has Luger up. Jumping pile driver. Dory Funk follows Sting outside. The American Dream should go for a pinfall on Luger. Several punches to the face. No one's there to stop him. He should go for the pin. Here it comes. The bionic elbow across the chest of bloody Dusty Rhodes. Holds it for the cover. And he got him. Dusty Rhodes gets the win. A pinfall on Lex Luger. And he'll face Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship at Super Bowl. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, dancing his way all the way to Super Brawl. He'll have to get a couple of stitches first. That was a good match, Gatsby. Once he gets a couple of stitches, he's going to pack a bag for Super Brawl. Dusty Rhodes with the pinfall on Lex Luger. Four stars is your official match rating. Good to see Dusty getting a shot at that World Championship Wednesday afternoon at Super Brawl. A lot of good matches tonight as we finalize all of the Super Brawl card. We'll go over that in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at what went down here tonight on Thunder from the XL Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Eddie Guerrero got us started. He lied, cheated, and steal his way to victory over bad Bob Cook. The mass superstar defeated Owen Hart. Owen's on a two-match losing streak coming into his big Super Brawl match with his brother Brett. Brock Lesnar destroyed Justin Michaels. The voice took his paycheck, got his 500 bucks, and flew home. Yoko Zuna, the United States champion, non-title victory over the big show. Hollywood Hogan won the triple threat match over Harley Race and Ric Flair. So Hogan gets a shot at Yoko Zuna and the U.S. championship at Super Brawl. Bob Roop with a good victory over Jerry the King Lawler. That was a really good match. Lots of back and forth action there. Goldberg was victorious over Mr. Wrestling 2. Two is the number of moves Mr. Wrestling 2 performed in the ring. Goldberg destroyed him. And as you just saw, Dusty Rhodes won the fatal four-way, pinning Lex Luger, and he secures his shot at Rey Mysterio and the World Heavyweight Championship at Super Brawl at 1 o'clock on Wednesday. All right, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at what that card is going to be before we bump the calendar up. We got uh, Hollywood Hogan challenging Yokozuna for the United States Championship. We have Dusty Rhodes challenging Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship. We have Owen Hart squaring off against Bret Hart. Two out of three falls there. If Owen wins, he gets into the WWF. If he loses... He has to retire. All right, let's see. X-Pac will defend the Hardcore Championship against Goldberg. Seth Rollins will challenge Mil Mascaris for the WCW Championship. And the Red Army challenges the East-West Connection for the WCW World Tag Team Championship. Solid card for Super Brawl on Wednesday afternoon. All right, today's recap and preview of Super Brawl brought to you by Godlike Hosting. Premium game hosting offering high performance, minimal ping, and improved protection. They are a premium game hosting service specializing in Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto. Among 28 other games, use the link in the description below and get a free trial if you need a premium game server. Godlike Hosting is who you want to go to. So use the link in the description below for that. Let's bump the calendar over to Saturday night's main event. That will be tomorrow's live stream. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock as well. Next two streams are at 1 o'clock. And let's see what we have on tap. Tito Santana, your Intercontinental Champion. Non-title match against The Undertaker. Mr. Fuji battles Dino Bravo. The Dirty Dogs going up against the Red Army. 
they're not supposed to be in uh, WWF. Not until after their title match, but they're calling it a tune-up match. We got a fatal four-way. For what reason? I don't know. We'll have to come up with one. Kane, the Repo Man, Larry Zabisco, and Bruno Sammartino. The genius Lanny Poffo squares off against Jake the Snake Roberts. Shawn Michaels battles Mr. T. Jim the Anvil Nightheart goes up against King Kong Bundy. And tomorrow night's main event on main event. Tomorrow afternoon's main event on main event. The Iron Sheik taking on Pedro Morales. That should be a good match. Pedro, your former, I think he was a, your United States champion. Until Andre the Giant destroyed him. That's tomorrow's action on Saturday night's main event. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk a little better by tomorrow. I'm getting a little better every day. So I hope that trend continues. All right, let's see. What do I need to tell you tonight? Anything important? Not really. Not really. We got my... Uh, Appearances coming up. Those are on my website. Oh, we're going to put... <laughs> I put my... Uh, on Facebook today, uh, we decided to sell our condo where I usually do my live streams from. We decided to sell it, so um, I'll start doing the live streams from the house again. But um, uh, So if anybody's interested <laughs> in a condo in Florida, get on my Facebook page. I put all the information up there today, and uh, we decided we're going to sell it. And uh, that's it. That's all I got for you today. So I hope you had a good time tonight. I hope you had fun. We had some really good matches. If you saw anything you like, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's a good time to do that. Body slam that subscribe button. And then make sure you hit the bell icon next to it to turn on all of your notifications. You don't want to miss anything. Turning those notifications on will... Get those notifications to you because I have fresh content every single day on the channel and I go live five times a week. So that way you will not miss out on anything. Thank you, Godspeed, for stopping in. Have a good night yourself. Thank you, Bonnie, for stopping in. And thank you, everyone else who stopped in along the way. I do appreciate every single one of you. Have yourself a fantastic night. Have a good day tomorrow. I'll see you at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock for Saturday night's main event. Thanks for joining. I will see you then.